Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Quite a while ago, I had done a review and swatching of these 100 Fine Liner Color Pens. This is by, and I'm sure I'm butchering this name, Divicle. I don't know. That's, that's what I'm going with. Um, and I really did like these Fine Liners. Um, you can look back in my playlist for that review, and they are really nice fine liner pens. Um, you know, they're, they're your typical fine liner. Uh, the top is a little bit different, as you can see, but beautiful variety of colors. Well, the company must have seen my video, got in contact with me, asked that they could send me a couple of things to review on my channel also. And I said, why, sure I can. Well, you want to see what I got in the mail? <laughs> Shabam! They sent me a box full of stuff. Now, I have not even looked through here to see what's all in here. But look! <laughs> So, guess what we're going to do? We're going to have some fun. So, as you can see, there's, there's quite a bit in here. We're just going to test out some of these things. Um, like here's some, what is this, uh, watercolors. Here's another set of the fine liners. So, don't have to swatch those out, do we? I'll put those on the side. Let's get everything else out of here, and we will go through each thing one by one. Oh yeah, okay. I thought maybe that was packing material, but it's it's not. We have some, looks like fine liners in there. Okay, let's get this all out. Sorry, did I bump you guys? All right, so let's take a look at all of this stuff. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we, got, we have a few things to go through. You guys ready for this? Um, I will probably take everything out of the packages and we'll look at the colors, right? Mm, that's always fun. <laughs> that is why we color, right? We love to look at colors. So, what is in this first bag? Doesn't really say anything on the tag. Okay, yeah. Doesn't open, so we're just gonna rip. And we'll see what these are. Okay, yeah, these are fine liner pens. Person can always use these. Uh, we have the 0 0.5, 0 0.2, and 0.8. So the point five is a little thick. It's a little bigger tip. I don't know if, sorry guys, I have to have my lights on. It's evening, so. Okay, so that's the point five. Then we have the point two, which is super teeny. And then we have the point eight which is very large. So, let's see. Let's just grab a, a sheet of paper here. Uh, not that one. I'll just use the back side of this. And we'll just see how smoothly they write. Oh yeah, okay. So that is the point eight. Then we have the point five. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. And then we have the point two, which is, yes, very fine. Very nice. Okay, so they are pigment liners, water based, and water resistant. Hmm. I didn't know there would be such a thing. If they're water-based, how can they be water-resistant? Hmm, okay. I'm assuming because of the pigment 
you know, being a pigment liner. Okay, so that is the first thing. Throw the wrapper over there. All right, so let's take a look at these. These are acrylic paint markers. There are 12 colors in here. Now they did warn me uh, when they sent these to me that they are not all in, you know, the packaging and stuff is not all in mint condition and that's why, you know, they just went ahead and sent these to me rather than, you know, a, a perfect <laughs> copy. Um, if you would order these on Amazon, yours would be just fine. Let's take a look at these guys. Okay, so you can see all the colors on the back. So it looks like we have a yellow, an orange, orange red, red, lilac, darker purple, blue, green, black, a white one, a gold, and a silver. Now, just like any of your paint markers, um, you shake several times, press the tip up and down for a while, enjoy your beautiful new creation, recap the pen tightly after used. So if you are not familiar how these types of pens work, uh, let's pick up, let's pick up purple, of course. So you have to mix them up so that the paint gets mixed up in them. I'll do this off camera so <laughs> I'm not making you sick. Let's mix it up good. Okay, let me grab this sheet of paper. Then you will just press it and then press up and down a number of times in order to get the ink going. And sometimes, as you can see, it's starting to come down. Sometimes it does take a while. but it does eventually come down. You only have to prime it like this once, each pen, because they are sent without, you know, the tip being saturated for shipping purposes, and I imagine for manufacturing purposes too. Here it's coming now. There we go. So then you get your, oh, is that a pretty color? So then it's like acrylic paint within a marker. There are many brands out on the market, and I'm not going to open up every single color because we have so many products to go through. Um, but that is the purple. And I got disconnected from my iPad. Here we go. Let's just try one other one. We're going to try this bright yellow. Okay, and again, you got to prime it. I do it that way, and then sometimes I'll hold it down. That kind of helps the ink get going. And like I said, sometimes it takes a while to prime them. But now the next time you go to use that purple one, I don't mean to be giving you guys the finger all the time. Sorry about that. Um, you won't have to prime again. Yeah, this one's taking a while, but it's coming down there. See, it's coming down here. I should put the cap down, then I, then I can point with my pointer finger and not give you guys the middle finger. <laughs> Come on, baby, you can do it. Oh, almost down to the tip. And again, the more you shake it sometimes too, now you, Silly me, I'm doing this. You should always do it with the cap on. <laughs> I made that mistake once and I got some acrylic paint all over. Sometimes that helps by doing some additional shaking. I picked a bad color. Like I said, some of these take a little bit more. It's almost down there. So yeah, if you think you're doing something wrong because you're just not getting any color out no matter how many times you pump it, yeah, some of them take longer than others. But 
they do eventually get there. It's starting to come into the tip now. I don't know why some take so much longer than others. Good thing these tips are very resilient because otherwise, you know, doing this this many times, you would ruin the tip. Come on, baby, you can do it. I can see it coming down into the tip. I don't want to give up on you. I know you can do it. Let's shake it a little bit more because it's almost there. I can, I can see it. Oh yeah, the purple one got going pretty quickly. Yeah, it's down in the tip, just not quite far enough. Okay, I give up. I give, I give. Let's try the pretty pink. Let's see if this one comes down. Or should we leave well enough alone? Maybe, because we have so many other products to get through. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to take the time to finish going through and priming these. Let me just get them back in the box. But yeah, paint markers are always fun. They're really nice to do um, backgrounds with. Okay, so we have some paint markers. Get you back in there. All right, what do we have next? We have some sketching pencils. There are 12 pencils in here. Now, let <laughs> me sketch. <laughs> All right. Now, anybody that draws knows that there are all kinds of different leads um, that will vary in softness to hardness of the lead. So that's what these numbers and letters indicate on the barrel of the pencil. So I don't know if you can see that. It's a silver barrel, so it might be reflective and hard to see. But like this one says 4H. I would have to pick one like that. 4H. Or like here, this one is 2H. Um, and then we have 2B. To be or not to be. So yeah, again, it's just going to be reminiscent of how hard that lead is. And anybody that, now this one's quite soft, anybody that sketches, does drawing, um, you would know what each of these symbols mean. I don't. <laughs> so, um, I may be including these in a future giveaway because they would just sit on my, um, not on my desk, but on my shelves and wouldn't get any use. So uh, I'm going to leave them out for now, not to, not take the time. Okay, so we had some pencils. We have some metallic markers. Two colors, so we must have gold and silver in here. Marks on most surfaces. Water-based ink, non-toxic, acid-free, odorless, quick-drying, fade, and water-resistant for opaque writing and decorating, even on dark and colored paper. Works on most surfaces, such as paper, cardstock, rock, plastic, fabric, metal, wood, ceramics, glass, and more. Um, et cetera, et cetera. So, okay, there are two gold and two silver in here. Ooh, look at them shiny metallic uh, silver barrels on them. Can you see that? Really shiny. Okay, so it says craft work pen. 
metallic. So, nope, don't have to shake these. Oh, that's a nice tip. It's not super firm, but yet it is. Oh, isn't that pretty? Let's get out a gold one. Oh, these are really nice and, boy, I almost want to say creamy. <laughs> Let's make the silver a little bit bigger, and then I'll hold it up. Wow, these are nice. These would be awesome for enhancing pictures. See how reflective? Those are beautiful. The gold isn't showing up as well as the silver. But yeah, really pretty. Oh, I especially love that silver. Nice. Oh, I like these. <laughs> Get these back in the box. So we got these metallic pens. Those are neat. Then along that same line, we have metallic colored pens. There are 10 colors in here. Two millimeter tip, water-based ink, non-toxic, acid-free, and light fast. And again, it says for opaque writing and decorating, even on dark and colored paper. So basically the same thing as this, only they're in colors. Oh, I hope they color just as well as these. Those went down really smooth. Smooth. Oh, pretty colors. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Another one hiding in there. Okay, so we have, looks to be a white. And what? lighter gray and a darker gray, a gold. We have pink, blue, two greens, looks like to be a brown, and a purple. So let's start with these first. Let, let's see what those do. I'm going to zoom you in. I've had you guys out kind of far. I'm sorry about that. So let's see what this one is like. And there are no color names or anything on here at least at least not that I can see it just says metallic color pen okay so this one okay this one is white it looks almost like a blender though because it's not metallic it's just wet so I wonder if it's a blender of some sort does it say on here? Let me just double check. The white pen, oh, appears transparent when first applied, but becomes opaque as it dries. It is not metallic and cannot be used on white paper. Oh, okie dokie. I was wondering how you could blend metallics. I wonder if it would show up on here. Don't want to stain it. Hmm. Wonder if I have a black background coloring book here somewhere that we could. I think I have a Sun Life drawing, and we know the reverse side of those are always black. Let's try it on here. And it says it dries white, right? Isn't that what I say? Becomes opaque as it dries. It is not metallic, but it's supposed to, yeah. Looks like it's going to take a while to dry. So we're going to leave this one sit for a while. And we'll come back and look at that one. Okay, this one looks to be a darker gray, or maybe it's supposed to be black. Yes, it is a black. Oh my gosh, are these juicy? Holy cow. Yeah, it's more like a super dark gray. It's not a real true black. This one must be a lighter gray. Yep. Oh, these are very juicy. 
And this one must be a gold. Oh, it's orangish brown. Okay. Then we have this one, which is, again, orangey. Kind of an orange with, there's, you know, gray undertones in all of these for the metallic look. Here we have a beautiful purple. Oh, that's gorgeous. Then we have a few greens. Oh, that's a pretty green. And a lighter green. Wow, I cannot believe how juicy these things are. And we have a blue. Oh, isn't that pretty? Finally, we have a beautiful pink here. And it doesn't really come out pink, though, does it? I had hopes. Oh, <laughs> comes out more as an orange. <coughs> so, if we look at these, I believe they're metallic because they have that gray undertone, but they're not near as reflective as, say, these two, these colors. These metallic markers are much more reflective. These have the gray undertone to make them look metallic, if you can kind of see that. Now, where the ink first started, I could see there was no metallic in it. It took a little bit to get it going, but I'm assuming now that it's going, yeah, it just took a little bit. Um, so now they are much more reflective. But when I did it in the very beginning, the reflection, you know, the reflecting properties wasn't going yet, but now they are. So they are much more reflective, if you can see that. Okay, so yeah, very pretty. I was hoping this was going to be a pretty pink. And maybe as it gets going, no, I don't think so. Yeah. It is just a, a deep orange, orangey red. All right, so that, those are the metallic. Let's see how white we got here. It is, but you have to look at it at a certain angle. And I don't know if I can get the angle right. I look at it from here and I can see the white, but I think maybe that one too, I got to get going because you don't, you don't see a whole lot of white. Very juicy, that's for sure. There is a milky whiteness to it, but not a lot. Oh, now I can see it already as it's drying though. Can you see that? So again, I think this one just had to get going because, yeah, it's already a lot. It's working a lot better now already than this. This took a while to dry. So it does turn white, and I think as this dries, it'll get whiter yet. Oh, interesting. It's like a magic pen. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, let's get these back in the box. Again, these could be really pretty for adding uh, enhancements to, say, like a, a picture you colored with marker. Pretty, pretty. Do I got them all in there? Okay. All right, what do we have next? Okay, metallic markers. Is this going, the packaging is different. Let's see if the markers are different. Unless they just updated their packaging. Okay, metallic markers. Marks on anything. Shake several times, press the tip up and down. Oh no, not that again. Now these metallics you were not the type that you had to pump, and I'm still zoomed in. I'm sorry. Um, these you didn't have to prime. Now, these you do. So, let's take a look. 
what these look like. Oh, look at the pretty colors. Ooh, there's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 15 colors in here. Let's look at them. Let's look at the colors. Okay, now these are more closely resembling what these were. These have the real shiny silver barrels. These are not the shiny silver, but you can definitely tell these are going to be the metallic. Because it says metallic marker. Okay. Pigment ink. Strong covering force. Sunproof and waterproof. Marks on anything. For best results, shake several times. Press the tip down three or four times. Cap the pen tightly after use. Caution. Do not burn even when empty. Inks are conforming to blah, blah, blah. And they comply with blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's, what should we go for? Oh, let's, let's try this pretty pink. We're going to shake this baby. Shake it, baby. Yes, it's getting late in the evening and I'm getting silly. Okay, we shook it up really good. Let's pump this baby and see. Oh, boy, that was fast. Oh, it's like a deep burgundy kind of a... Oh, that is gorgeous. Can you see that color? Let me zoom you back in. It's like a berry pinky purple. Oh, that's gorgeous. Let's see if the rest of them prime that fast. That would be awesome. Okay, let us see. Oh, we're stuck. There we go. It's coming. I see it. There it is. So, yeah, these prime really nice. Again, very juicy. Wow. Okay, got to try a couple more, seeing as how they prime so fast. Let's try the purple. And then we'll see what this pink is like. This lighter one. If it's going to be purdy or not. There we go. Oh, gorgeous. I love that color. Let's try this lighter pink. Might as well try them, right? Then they're all primed and ready to go. These are pretty. I like these. Are you coming? Sure. The pink that I really wanted to check out. Oh, here it comes. Oh, pretty. That one is a pretty pink. Okay, let's try out the bright yellow. And they are really pretty and metallic-y. I think these actually are looking better than these metallics were. Ooh, that was fast. Oh, so it is actually, wow, see how juicy these are? Holy moly. It's not a bright yellow, it's like a like a lime green, a bright spring green, kind of. All right, we're going to try the greens out then. <laughs> Let's just keep going. We'll try them out. Why not? There we go. Oh, that's pretty. And then we have a darker green. Boy, these are priming fast. Let's go back up here. And here it comes. 
Oh, that's gorgeous. It's like an aqua. Kind of on the teal side almost. We have a couple of blues. These are so juicy. I'm going to have to make sure I don't put anything on this paper for a while. Here it comes. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I love that color. Ooh. Okay, we have a darker blue. I hope this isn't boring you guys to death by going through the color. But you gotta test everything out, right? Like I said, we like color. Oh, this one's being shy. Okay, it's it's giving in. It, it's getting done there. It's like fine. There we go. Okay, so we have a that one. It's not quite all to the tip yet, so that's why it didn't look as juicy. But pretty blue. Let's try the red. I actually think this is supposed to, like, like you can see what I'm pointing to, that I think maybe that one's supposed to be gold. Because the more I look at it, when it dries and stuff, it really doesn't have the green in it. It is more like a gold. Okay, so let's try the red. And here we go. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, and then we just have the metallic colors left. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a copper, maybe. Here it comes. Yeah. Wow, these are juicy. Holy cow. They're almost they're almost too juicy, you know what I mean? Wow. Cause yeah, you put that in a coloring book, you gotta make sure that book stays open for a while. Now this must be a white. Okay, I was I was looking at this number to see uh if each one had a different number, but no. There it must be the product number. So yeah, I'm assuming this is white, which again would be really nice for enhancements. Put dots on. Oh yeah. Again, extremely juicy. I don't know if you can see that one or not. And we have a silver. And a gold, silver and gold. Oh, beautiful. So it's very similar to the silver that was in that set, but it's deeper. It's like a pewter almost. Very shiny though. And then this must be deeper yet. Maybe on the blackish side, we'll see. Yeah. That's more like pewter. That one did lighten up quite a bit as it dried. Finally, we have the gold. So this, this one is like a real bright, bright gold. And then I'm assuming this one is gonna be probably more like this. But yeah, that's a real shiny, bright gold, like brass. So last, but not least, 
we have our gold. So our blue, our dark blue was the only shy one. Yeah. Now I actually like this gold better than the one that came in that set of two, but I like the silver better. <laughs> so I have the best of both worlds here. Beautiful colors. Oh, look at that purple. Oh, next to that pink. Uh, and these. Oh, can you see the shine? Oh, my heavens. I love that color. Ooh. Gorgeous. These are really nice. Oh, between them and this here set of four with these two. Yeah, really nice. All righty. Yeah, like I said, I think I like that set much better than these. These aren't bad. Um, and the tips on these are really nice. Uh, because, you know, with the regular paint markers, you have that great big tip. These come to a finer tip, which is nice. Usually you have that great big rounded nub of a tip. These will get into details more, though, so they definitely have their place, too. Okay, so I think think that might be it for metallic. Oh, no, no, no. We have something else that's supposedly metallic. Boy, a lot of metallic. Let's get these back in. Boy, where am I going to go with all this? Like I said, some of this may be included in some future giveaways. Right, got that in there. We have some, uh, let's go to the metallic. We have Sparkle Pop metallic gel pens. Oh, I'm zoomed in, sorry. <laughs> so Sparkle Pop, what do we think of when we hear Sparkle Pop? Mm, yeah, we think of the other Sparkle Pop pins. So let's see how these look. One pen, two colors. There's eight pens and eight refills. Oh, so these come with refills. Whoops. Caps are coming off. Which one does that belong to? This one. Okay, we definitely got to swatch these out. Look at the colors, though. Isn't that pretty? Well, you just want to fall off, don't you? Maybe I didn't have it. No, this one is, I don't know. We'll take a look at it closer when we swatch them out. So, are you dry yet? No, better not flip it over. Okay, and then we do have the set of refills. And these are nice big barrels. They're not them real skinny refills. Don't you hate it when you get those? Because there's like hardly any ink in them. All right, let's take a look at these. Go for the bright yellow first. So you can see it's real sparkly on the barrel if that's showing up in the video. Kind of, sort of. All right, they are triangular in shape, so they're very comfortable in the hand. I like this shape better than the round. I don't know why. Same with the fine liners. When I am coloring with a fine liner, I like the triangular shape. Some people don't, but I do. Okay. Oh, and they get going right away, too. Uh, and now it quit. I always just give mine a shake. Some people do this, though, and that can get them going, too. Oh, they are sparkly, though. Now, it says... Two, two tones. I don't see two tones in that. And it wasn't the smoothest. It was pretty scratchy and intermittent. So I don't know if they're all going to be that way. 
Um, I had high hopes for these. Oh, okay. Now I got the cover on. Okay. Yeah, I'm having a, I'm having a hard time with these. Oh, there we go. But it's not staying. And maybe it's just having to get going again. I don't know. You know, after sitting for a while, that you got to get the pen going. And once you get it going, maybe it'll be working. I don't know. Now, even if they don't have two tones, they're very sparkly, extremely shiny glitter gel pens. And they seem to have a finer, a much finer point than your regular gel pens. I don't know if that shine ain't showing. Oh, there you go. So they are very shiny. Very pretty. I just, I'm, I'm hoping that as you use them more that uh, the ink would get flowing better. Let's try this. It looks like a kind of a red, but sort of on the pinky shade, you know, the pink side, which a lot of our uh, gel pens are, the, the reds. Yeah, oh, this is a pink. Oh, see, now this one's really nice and smooth. Oh, that is beautiful. I don't see two tones, one pen, two colors. But, oh, is that shiny. Let's get out this black paper again. We're going to try it on this. Because maybe it'll show up differently on black. Shows up beautifully on black. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it shim. Oh, wow. It like shimmers. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it when it went down. But I only see the one color. You guys see another color. I don't see another color. Huh. Not like the uh, Pentel Dual Hybrid. Those you definitely can see two colors on. Hmm. I wonder what the other color is supposed to be on that. But that is gorgeous. Love that color. Let's try Zipper Ball. I always shake them a few times because that gets the ink down into the tip. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Yes. These are juicy. It's just those first two. Oh, I finally can see two colors. This is purple and then it's got blue in it. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera though. No, but there is blue, like blue glitter in the purple. So it's blue and purple. Can you see that when I, yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, that one's pretty. Okay, let's continue. So we have a blue here. Maybe it'll have purple in it. <laughs> okay, let's go here. This one is scratchy again. Mm. Let's get you going. Hmm, that's disappointing. Because these two are just so gorgeous. There, it was starting, and there I can see the, the second color in there, too. It's like a darker blue with a beautiful bright aqua in it. So I am going to work at these, and I am going to get them working. I will. Okay, let's try. Looks like a beautiful emerald green. Oh, that one's gorgeous, too. See, now they should all color like that. 
That is a stunning color. And again, I don't see a second color in that one. But is it glittery and shimmery? I don't know if you can see it on camera, though. Which, nope. I can't catch it. Huh. It's gorgeous. Just take my word for it. It does have a little bit of the blue in it, if I should say that. The ink itself is green, and then there's like a aqua shimmer to it okay this I'm not sure what color it is looks brown not sure okay yep or deep purple oh my gosh there is red in it oh, oh is that pretty I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Oh my gosh, that is my favorite one so far. There you go. You see the red? That is pretty. So it's like either, yeah, it's a real deep purple, I think. But then it turns red. Oh, that's pretty. Last we have is the silver. Again, nice, smooth one. Let's see if there's another color. I do not see another color. But it's a beautiful silver. <laughs> that you can see reflecting in the camera. So I think the reason why these had the problem I am having a problem with the caps staying on. You see that? It keeps popping off. So I'm wondering if maybe the ink inside got dry. But yeah, that, that cover will not stay on. Now again, it could be just that this was maybe a defective pack they sent me. Um, but yeah, and I think that might have something to do Oh, no, it's going. No, it's not. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Yeah, it does, and then it doesn't. And then it does. It's being shy, too. Because it's a beautiful orange. It's a gorgeous color. And beautiful shimmery. So, yeah, I'm going to continue working on that one. Now this yellow, and the cap is on really nice and tight, so I don't know. Yeah, this one too. It's like, yeah, I feel, okay, I'll do it. No, I don't want to do it. Okay, and the other one we had a problem with. Yeah, see, this cap is... Hmm, was the dark blue, right? Yeah. See, and this cap is loose too. So I do think because of the fact that these are the three caps that I have problems with, yeah, that that must have something to do with it. The ones that have the caps on tight are the ones that colored real smooth, like this one. <laughs> Go party. Oh, just gorgeous. And as it dries, you see more and more of the shimmer. This here one, though, this is just stunning with that red in there. So I would say if, <laughs> if these would all work, um, they're absolutely gorgeous. I don't see the two colors in a lot of these, though. I mean, this is a beautiful color. But I don't see a second. I mean, I kind of do. There is like a, like I said, an aqua in there. So I sort of see one in there. The pink, I don't at all. I don't see another color. 
but it is gorgeous. It's just not two colors, like they say. So, I'm kind of iffy on these. Um, if they would work properly, oh yeah, I mean like these. Oh, they're stunning, gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I guess, having a problem with some of them. So, okay, we shall put these back. Really at high hopes for these. <laughs> and like I said, if you ordered them and you would have a problem like this, um, you would definitely just contact them. They're very, very nice to work with. Should we test out one of these with a with a refill that is capped nice and tight and just see if maybe that is the problem? Maybe we'll try that. Let's try this beautiful orange. And you know, this is something that's very different too. I've never seen this in a gel pen. The barrel is opaque. Usually you have the clear barrel, you know, and you see the ink inside. These are opaque barrels never seen that. All right, let's let's test out the refill. And yeah, refill is fine. Took a little bit to get going, but the refill is fine. So yeah, it's got to be the caps on those pens that are a little defective in the set I was sent. Let's try the yellow. Yeah, nice and juicy. So yeah, it's it's not it's not the pens. It's but again, I only see one color in these. They're absolutely stunning with the glitter, the shine in them. Can you see that? Ooh, pretty pretty. What was the other color? It was dark blue, right? Yeah. So, if you were to order these, they would most likely work just fine. And yeah, that blue has this gorgeous, uh, like an aqua in it. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, the colors are all gorgeous, but not all of them have the dual colors. Um, the yellow, the orange, and the pink, I don't see two colors. And the silver. The others are, yeah, oh, that blue is gorgeous. I'm glad I tried the refill. Okay, so that's, that's good to know. You at least know that, yeah, if you order these, it, they're going to work. Or they should. Like I said, if, if the pens themselves, you have problems with the caps like these, you would definitely just contact the company. All right, let's get these refills in here. What do we have left? Oh, we have a whole set of pigment liners. Oh my goodness. Wowzers. Oh, look at this. Yeah, a person could always use these. So I did have those out. I'm not going to go through every one. This point, point zero 0.05. Look how fine. And you probably can't even see that. Super fine. And anybody that has pigment liners, you know. You know how teeny tiny that tip is. And then it goes all the way down to the point 0.8 which I showed you, and then there is a brush in here, kind of like the Faber-Castell set. Oh, this is nice. Very flexible. This would be great if you're into calligraphy, which, as you can see, I'm not. But yeah, very flexible tip. Nice. Okay, so they have a whole set of the pigment liners. You go from 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05
point one, point two, point three, point four, point five, point six, point eight, and then the brush. Okie dokie. So yeah, doesn't doesn't pay to get every one of those out. I'm sure you guys are familiar with K okay, cap turn with um, the sets of pigment liners. There's quite a number of, of different companies that make these sets. All right, we have a couple of things left. We have some gel pens, white, gold, and silver. They're 0.5 millimeter. Okay. So it is a set of 12. Okay, so we would have three of, I mean four of each, right? Boy, I don't know. I think they're going to have to look at the caps. Well, no, these are fitting just fine. That must have just been in shipping. Okay, these aren't popping off like those dual metallic ones. So we do have four gold, we have four silver, and we have four white. Okay, and uh, again, it says archival ink, waterproof, fade resistant. 0.5 needle tip produces crisp, extra fine lines. Fantastic for dark or colored paper. Ideal for cards, decorations, drawings, doodles, illustrations, designs, scrapbooks, journals. Note, avoid tapping base. Continue writing to restore flow of ink. Hmm. And here for gel pens, I'm tapping the base. <laughs> what do I know? <sighs> All righty. Let's try the gold. Again, they're triangular, and I do like the feel of that. It's the first triangular gel pen, and they are very fine tip. Wow. If you want a fine tip gel pen, holy cow. Can you see that? I suppose I'm fuzzy, but yes, extremely fine. Never seen a gel pen that fine. Wow. But r colors, right, writes, draws, whatever, very nicely. Nice, smooth flow and very shimmery. I'll show, I'll hold it up when I get through all of them. Okay, this one's taking a bit to get going. Here we go. I imagine because of that super fine tip, it may take a little bit to get these going. Now, I'm really curious to see what the white is going to do. And that caps on tight. If this is, I'm assuming maybe, more meant for the black paper. So let me get out <laughs> the back of this again. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Works great on black paper. Wow, isn't that nice? And again, very, very fine tip. Wow. Very nice. I've never seen, you know, the, the gel pens that are super tiny tipped like this. Super tiny tipped. Hmm. Okay, so let's look at the shimmer of these two because this is the two gel pens. Minus, minus the white. Can't see the shimmer of the gold too good. You can see the, the silver though. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so that is the metallic white, gold, and silver gel pens, four of each. Again, would work fantastic for enhancing your color pages, especially if you want to put something very fine in. Again, I could maybe include one of each in a giveaway. 
finally we have this set of watercolors. Again, never mind the packaging. They told me that the packaging may be damaged on some of the things that they sent me. Yours wouldn't be. <laughs> and the set does include a water brush. And it is a large tipped water brush. Okay, and then we have I oh yeah, you pull these out. So we have all kinds of colors. 42 colors. So we do have white, we have these yellows. And it does have the colors and a number down here. So we have, for instance, um, C01 and then two and three. So they're numbered numerically. They're numbered numerically. Okay, yeah, they're in order. <laughs> oh, look at these pretty colors. Ooh. And look at all the reds. I'm going to have to get my water brush out, and we're going to just have to try a couple colors. Look at the earth tones. Wow. And we have all of these greens. Actually, this is, this is a purple. And then up at the top up here is a purple because it shows all the colors. It shows all the colors down here. Okay, so then, so what I thought were earth tones were actually your deeper reds. Then we have all these beautiful blues. And the rest of the top are some dark greens. If you can see that. So we're up to C33. And then last are our earth tones. So we got quite a few earth tones in here too. And then in the back here, you can mix your colors, I'm assuming. You have a sponge here that you can dab off your brush on. So let me go up in my drawers up on top here. I have all my water brushes up here. And let's just grab one. Which one should I grab? Let's see, I got my Arteza ones up here, but I don't know if I, yeah, what size tip? I don't want to get the huge one out. Let's get the second biggest one out. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Arteza water brushes. They have a set of, how many are in there? Six of all varying um, size tips. This is the second largest uh, flat brush. <laughs> okay, so what should we go for? Should we go for a beautiful teal maybe? At least it looks teal. Okay, does that not figure I was right in the middle of this and my phone so rudely ran out of juice. So I quick went and charged it up enough so that hopefully I can finish this video. Um, we were going to try this. Color. Oh, it looks so pretty. Uh, yeah, let's go down here. Oh, is that not a gorgeous color? Get this out of the way. That's pretty. Okay, let's try something else. Let's see what these yellows are like. Can you see what I'm doing? Let me, let me zoom you in a little. So you have pretty yellow, a lot of pigment in these watercolors. Let's see what else we have. Let's try a pretty red-orange. Now, 
This is not watercolor paper, so it's just marker paper. Let's do a dark red. Oh, pretty burgundy wine red, kind of. Let's try a purple. Of course, we gotta try. Yeah, I had too much water on there. <laughs> Pretty colors. Let's see. What else do we have? Let's try this one up here. Oh. My, oh, you guys can't even see it. My favorite shade of purple. That's gorgeous. Should we try a green? Let's try a nice spring green. Try to get some water in there. Oh, that's pretty. What else you want to see? I know this video is getting long. Ain't it? Okay, let's just try a... Let's see. We'll try this one. A brown. That's it. Too much water. Got to get through the top layer here first. I didn't drip any water on and, and let it sit like you kind of have to. Oh, that's a pretty brown, huh? And I think this is a darker brown. Oh, really got too much water on this one. But yeah, it'd be a chocolate brown. Okay, I think think unless we let's try a dark green just to try out a lot of the colors because I know this video's getting pretty long here's an olive green I just really wanted you guys to see all of their products seeing as how they so kindly sent these all to me um so yeah that those are the watercolors. Again, there's 42 in this set. And each one of these, even though it looks like there's not a whole lot in there, each color would last you quite a while, I would think. And again, you have your mixing palette here. So I would just close it all back up. It's just something that's so neat and handy to take on the go. If you're one that, you know, you are, are on the go, um, quite a bit and you would like to take this set along on the go these watercolors are perfect I've seen sets like this before I have never used them before but boy that is really neat I love how they fold out like this <laughs> that's really cool nice and compact right okay I while I was waiting for my phone to charge a little bit I did look up some prices for you guys now the prices that I'm going to give you are effective as of today which is what is it it's March 30th 2020 um, this watercolor paint set is $16.99 I didn't think that was too bad uh, the white gold silver gel pens this set of 12 is $9.99 this set of four metallic markers which is two silver and two gold is $6.99 the set of pigment liners and that was one two three four five six nine um pigment liners is $12.99 and again I'll link these all down below but just so you could get some idea of the prices the sparkle pot metallic pens uh, eight pens eight refills are $10.99 
the set of 12 uh, sketching pencils are $12.99. And the metallic uh, color pens, this set of 10. Do, 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 is $9.99. And then the fine liners, this hundred set, is $35.99. Now, the two things that I absolutely could not find anywhere, I don't know if they were discontinued or what, but this set of 12 acrylic paint markers could not find anywhere, so I will not list them down below. And then this bigger set of the metallic markers, I could not find um, on Amazon. I even Googled these, and I couldn't find them anywhere. So, Divicle, or however you pronounce your company name, I'm sorry. If these are available anywhere, can you please let me know so that I can let my subscribers know, okay? All righty. So that is all of the Divicol products that we all looked at today. Really neat. And so um, I apologize if uh, this got a little long for you. <laughs> but I think it's just fun looking at all the different colors. I will link down below not only all the products, but I'll link the video down below where I reviewed the set of 100 and we swatched out all the colors and looked at all the pre-80s. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you uh, stuck with me till the end, congratulations. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching all of this. I know I had a blast going through it all. <laughs> if you liked it all, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel. And subscribe if you are new to my channel. Don't forget to hit the uh, notification bell. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so you know when I put out new videos. I hope everybody has been having a great week. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.